हिज एक्सलेंसी डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अब्दुल करीम अल ईसा सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड लीग हिज एक्सलेंसी नवाफ बिन सईद अल मालिकी एम्बेसडर ऑफ द किंगडम ऑफ द सऊदी अरेबिया इन पाकिस्तान अल शेख साद मसूद अल हारसी डी जी ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड लीग इन पाकिस्तान सैनिटर हाफिज अब्दुल करीम साहब स्पेशल असिस्टेंट टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आर डी एर फैकल्टी स्टाफ स्टूडेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन असलम वरहत ला आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडेज इवेंट इट इज़ एन इवेंट दैट वी वर वेटिंग फॉर सिंस द पास्ट मैनी ईयर्स एज मिस्टर सजाद शेड इन इज ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स दैट आई वॉज प्रिवलेज टू बी ए मेम्बर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड लीग कॉन्फ्रेंस इन विच द चार्टर ऑफ मक्का वॉज साइंड एंड इन दैट कॉन्फ्रेंस आई इन्वाइटेड सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड लीग हिज एक्सलेंसी डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अब्दुल करीम अलीसा टू विजिट यू एम टी ऑन इज नेक्स्ट ट्रिप टू पाकिस्तान I want to first thank him for taking out the time from his busy schedule and making sure that he visits UMT and meets the deans and the directors and the UMOs and the students and the faculty and the staff. We also feel privileged that Dr. Abdul Karim Alisa has an honorary doctorate from UMT. it is a privilege for us that he also delivered the khutbah e hajj this year dr abdul karim alisa is a global renowned figure his services and his efforts in tackling islamophobia and in bringing people from different faith together are exemplary they have been recognized by world leaders he visited auschwitz and prayed there for the people who had departed he also met the pope and shared his beliefs and ideas on how islam and other religions can work together so based on his efforts he has been recently awarded the hilal e pakistan we at umt do not has the ability to offer you a hilal a hilal e pakistan but we can surely give you a standing ovation for your services please join me everyone for a standing ovation for dr abdul karim alisa for his services to the cause of islam and for muslim world league we acknowledge and value all your efforts thank you so very much for everything that you have done I also want to share here that UMT's mission and vision is very similar to the mission and vision of the Muslim World League. We also want to become a torch bearer for tolerance and moderation. Our aim and our goal as you see in the name of UMT, University of Management and Technology, UMAT. So UMT can also be pronounced ummat u m a t so our goal so our goal and our desire is to bring the muslim ummah together and umt is an extension of the muslim world league it is i want to uh, give you the assurance that umt will work as an extension as a sister organization as a subsidiary of the muslim world league and we will do all that we can in terms of creating awareness in terms of research producing research in terms of producing the next generation of muslim youth that can tackle these global challenges that can address the global contemporary issues that the islamic civilization is facing 
Islamophobia is a challenge that we as Muslims feel when we travel to the West or when we travel even if we watch media there are specific interest groups that are creating a bad image of a religion but we as Muslims are ambassadors of Islam and it is our duty to give an image of Islam that is accordance to the Quran and Sunnah and we want to obviously take guidance from His Excellency Dr. Abdul Karim Alisa and the Muslim World League on how we can inshallah create a better perception of Islam how can we have a more tolerant world how can we have a more peaceful world how can we have more brotherhood amongst Muslims and how can we create a better future for our future generations I won't take much of your time because it is time for Zohar Namaz. Uh, again, I want to thank His Excellency, Secretary General of the Muslim World League, uh, Dr. Abdul Karim Al Isa, and His Excellency Nawab Saeed Al Mariki, the ambassador of His, Ex His Highness King Salman bin Abdul Aziz and Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Pakistan, and Senator Hafiz Abdul Karim Saab and all the guests who have attended today's event. Thank you so very much for participating. And I hope we will all take the message that Dr. Abdul Karim Isa has given us and we will think upon it after this event and we will try to act upon it. So we take this pledge. Thank you so very much. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.